Hey everybody, Ray here. Welcome to It's All About the Cocktail. So tonight I want to do something nice and easy for you. I mean, we're all sheltering within, we're not going out. <laughs> you can tell Ray and Ray hasn't gotten a haircut in a while. You know, I like to, to shout out to my my girl Pam who cuts my hair. You know, do you think you can like, yeah, right, Ray, get a Flobie or something. <laughs> so, I mean, the whole idea here of this channel is simple cocktails at home. And it is getting late, and I want to make something quick and easy, and maybe see if I can get a couple games of pool in. So, tonight I'm going to show you the daiquiri. Now, the daiquiri was rumored to be originated from a small town in Cuba of the same name, daiquiri. And so, I'm going to show you the very simple recipe. I'm going to show you kind of how I'm going to do it, and especially I'm going to do it in a hurry. Now, it uses it's just three three ingredients rum, lime, and simple syrup, sugar. In this case, I'm going to use some agave to save myself some time. Because I'm, not, not because I'm lazy, but because I didn't get around to making any, any, any simple syrup. But Ray, isn't that just sugar and water one to one? Yeah, it is, but I didn't make any, okay? All right, now you can use any, any white rum that you happen to have. I mean, I was actually going to think of using a Havana Club. Now that would be good if I had the original Havana Club made in Cuba. This is made in Puerto Rico and I don't want to use it. So you can use your you can use your Bacardi. You can use I was gonna use El Dorado white. You can use your anything you want. But in this case I just did a, a thing on on uh, Dr. Bird Jamaican rum. So I got a thing for Jamaican rums right now. So I'm gonna do a high ester Jamaican rum from called Denizen. Denizen 3, okay? And I've already pre-squeezed my lime juice. And let's well, begin. Get to it, Ray. Okay, so like I said, I just want to do this nice and quick, quick and easy, um, and show you how easy this recipe is. Three ingredients, man. Come on. Okay, we're just going to use two ounces of our Denizen white rum. Okay, then we're just gonna go with an ounce of our, I'm gonna go, uh, some, some traditional recipes call for three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. I'm gonna actually go a little bit more now. I'm gonna go almost on the one side because this is a high ester rum from Jamaica. So needs a little bit to pour one ounce of our lime juice in there. Let's get it out of the way so I don't knock it over my... Okay, and like I said, most recipes call for three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, which again, is just sugar, a cup, a cup or however you want to measure, same measure of sugar, same measure of water. And then you just bring it to a boil and you let it cool and you're done. But in this case, I'm just going to use a little squirt of Agave syrup because I like the taste of it. It's better on your, on your, on your, better for you. I'm just gonna make sure I shake it up so I don't have anything left in the, in the shaker. Okay, so it's easy enough. Okay, now this recipe uses some people like to put a little bit of water in there too, but, and they say use cracked ice. So I'm just gonna take my Lewis bag, which is nothing but a, nothing but a, a canvas bag with some ice in there, and get your mallet. And then get your aggression on the day. Now we don't need crushed ice, we just need cracked ice. So we don't have to go, you know, we don't have to go total crazy on a thing. Okay? That's what I'm gonna do it over here so I don't spill it. Because otherwise I'll spill it all over the place. I'm just gonna pour it in. Okay, good job. About three quarters of the way up. Okay. And get ourselves a cheater tin. Okay. We want to get ourselves a strainer, a Hawthorne strainer, so that I'm not looking for it when I get to the part. Okay. Now we're just going to give it a shake. 
I would go 11 seconds, but I'm probably going to go a little bit longer because I want to make sure that that agave circus gets gets you know pretty well. Vigorous shake above your always do it, try to do it above your head. Okay, I wasn't counting. But when your hand starts getting cold, you know you're pretty much there. Okay. Now, you're going to get yourself a glass. I was thinking, should I use this Bella Inn? Mm, come on, Ray. I don't know. Don't be using that thing. I got a coupe glass chilling in the, in the, in the refrigerator here. Now, like I've told you before, if you don't have a chiller all you got to do is just get yourself pour pour yourself some ice in there set it aside while you're making a drink your glass is getting cold and then pour off the ice how simple is that okay get yourself your strainer and pour it on in there looking good Ray. Right? like i coach myself Check it out, man, right at the top. Um, ooh. I'll add a race, too. Okay. Now, for this, they, a lot of people say you don't really need a, a garnish. If you want to, you can put a little chunk of lime, you know, a little slice of lime, put it on the edge of the glass, but a lot of people say not necessary. Plus, you're going to drink it so fast, you know, you're going to drink it so fast. That, but, uh, you know what the next thing you're going to do is, don't you? Give it a whirl, man! Okay, let's check it out, see how it tastes. Oh, wow. That is good. Very good, very balanced. I mean, I probably didn't have to go the full one of, of lime juice, but it's very good. It's very very nice, you know, Cuban type drink. Great in the summer, man. You can be stupid. Summer on a hot day, you'll be sucking this thing down like, like nobody's business. But again, don't be sucking these things on. I mean, I want you to drink responsibly. You want to think about it. I mean, one thing is we're all kind of sheltered at home, which is good because we're not out there going to different bars and driving, drinking and driving. Because I'll be the first one to tell you about the evils of drinking and driving. That's what that's what got my arm all messed up. You know, that's kind of why I advocate drinking at home and being smart. So if you want to figure out what happened to my arm. You can always go there and check out my, my recover from a 33 day coma and check it out. But again, like I tell you, at the end of the day, my friends, it's all about the cocktail. So do me a favor, like this video, share with somebody, and by all means subscribe and hit the bell so you're privy to all the stuff I put out, put out before this. But uh, nice quick thing, three ingredients, it's simple. Do me a favor, make one, and check it out, and send me back a comment. Let me know if you like uh, daiquiris, you like rum. I mean, I'm happy to get into a lot of rums because I'm a rum guy, so I'm going to put out some more. some more. You know what, I'm even thinking, maybe I'll do a Hemingway daiquiri. And uh, he uses a little bit of maraschino cherry. If you, if you tell me you want me to do it, I'll do it, okay? But until next time, my friends, I'll be seeing you.